A marginal risk of severe weather still in place from the SPC. It did get extended further to the west up into the central part of the UP. The only places in Michigan not in a severe risk today are going to be up in the western half of the UP. So places like Houghton, Ironwood, uh, and also Ontonagon area as well. So what are the risks? What are the changes? What are we looking at today? So if we caught our streams last night in our video yesterday, you would have known that we're tracking an area up in northwestern lower, uh, right around that 6 p.m. time frame or so. That still holds true. But some models are throwing out some caveats and also some different solutions. Let's go ahead and dive in. So first and foremost, your marginal risks in place for the entire state minus western half of the UP. Looking at our hail, wind, and tornadic maps, starting with wind. Here is your wind, 5% across the entire state. Again, minus the western half of the UP. Same areas. Hail risk today does exist north, we're going to say north central, uh, lower Michigan, and basically the entire eastern and central parts of the UP, places like Marquette, Iron Mountain, Sault Ste. Marie, Mackinac, Gaylord, Ross Common, down to Mount Pleasant. Hail risk is there for that line of storms that is expected to develop right around that 5 to 6 p.m. time frame. Tornadic risk today has been shifted out of the state completely. Although we will talk about something that is popping up on models here in just a second, but they did when they went ahead and moved that out into Ohio. Uh, does not encompass Michigan at all for now. All right, now what are the changes here? So looking at the models from last night. All right, jump in here real quick. Looking at what we were talking about last night happening, we're going to see these morning showers move out. Look up to the northwest there, and there's your secondary line that is expected to develop in a decent environment for severe weather, right around that 6, 7 p.m. time frame, those are the ones to watch. Those will drift east-southeast. That still holds true. But notice how we go through the afternoon here in southern Michigan with basically nothing. This is the morning showers and storms moving out there. But behind that line, there's nothing here. This is at 3 p.m. on this model. Now, let's jump to the latest model, okay? The 13Z HRRR has decided to fire off storms in southern Michigan around that 3 to 4 p.m. time frame. Is this going to happen? I don't know. The NAM3 also shows it as well. I believe the RFS also shows us as well. So hear me out. All right. This is at 10 a.m. I'm, cur I'm currently making this video at 11 a.m. Let's go ahead and jump to 11, which is right on this model right here. This is 11 a.m. according to the HRRR model. Now, this is noon. There's 1 o'clock. Storms are firing down there toward the Jackson Lansing uh, Marshall area. They develop. Here's 2 p.m. Here's 3 p.m. Now, there is the change in the forecast here. Southeast Michigan, or we go ahead and say southern Michigan, right along 94. There could be a few pop-up storms here in a decent environment for severe weather. Looking at forecast soundings out ahead of this model, or out ahead of these storms, should I say, uh, it would concern us for potentially all hazards, including uh, maybe a brief tornado, because there is some curvature there. Uh, in the hodograph, which means our shear is, is directional, uh, which would be indicating perhaps some rotation in the, within the updraft. So we're going to watch that closely. I will say this, though. The 14Z, the latest model coming out, does not show that anymore. Ha doesn't show it happening anymore, which is weird. These models are all over the place. Here's 3 p.m. on the latest model. Notice that there's nothing happening there. Uh, time is 11.11 as making this video. There's already storms firing over in Branch County right now. Uh, so I would expect this uh, 13Z, the last model run to come out, to hold some weight because we are seeing development right around that same general area. Uh, so southeast Michigan, uh, definitely be on alert between that 2 p.m. and we'll say 4 p.m. time frame. Perhaps some storms, perhaps strong to severe, uh, would move through. All right. So this is the 13Z again. This is at 3 p.m. here over the Ann Arbor, Ypsilanti into Metro Detroit area and they'll clear the state roughly by four o'clock and then look again to the northwest there's our development right around 6 p.m pushes on shore in a good environment up there uh across northern lower for a potential round uh, of showers and storms that could be strong to severe up in that area as well let's see a triple r the nam3 also shows this as well uh so go ahead and dump it jump into that one real quick uh, this is going to be the same exact uh, area we're looking at here. There's 3 p.m. on the NAM 3K model. It does show a little bit further north, but the same general conclusion is that there could be storms in southeast lower early afternoon, which was not expected. We talked about being dry after that morning round. That may change for southeast lower. So if you guys live 
Washington, Wayne, Oakland, Macomb, Lenaway, Monroe. We'll go Hillsdale, Jackson. I'll go Branch and Calhoun. Uh, and anywhere close to Southeast Michigan, you guys should definitely be on alert and keep your eyes on the sky uh, for potential early uh, round of showers and storms. Potentially uh, could be severe there. Um, and like I said before, the hodographs, the soundings, the x-ray of the atmosphere does look pretty concerning for severe weather. Damaging winds, primary concern. Uh, large hail, not really too much of a concern today. There could be a few instances that it may try to produce some hail, uh, but it shouldn't be too large in nature. And a tornado cannot be ruled out with this first round just because the wind shear does look well oriented along with the unstable air uh, in place. So we'll keep an eye on things. I'll be chasing this. Joel will have stream. Uh, if these storms actually do exist and pop up, that is. If not, uh, me and Joel will have the stream for later on this evening up for Northwest Lower. But just pay attention if you guys happen to live out ahead of this line that is shown on models. We'll see if it comes to fruition. Uh, but definitely keep an eye on this, and we'll we'll keep you updated and such. And as soon as severe weather goes uh, or happens in the state, we will be live here on Facebook and on YouTube at Michigan Storm Chasers. All right. You guys have a great day. Expect some dryness uh, for the majority of us here in Michigan this afternoon. But also watch that northwestern lower corner as well as the southern part of the UP. Uh, for potential redevelopment right around that 3 p.m. to right around 6 p.m. time frame uh, up there in northwestern lower. And that extends later on in the evening as it gets further east and south of the state. You guys stay safe. It's going to be a muggy one out there. Uh, so stay hydrated, stay cool, and we'll have some nice weather to give you guys for tomorrow. It's going to be less humidity and also right around 70 degrees. So enjoy your day, guys. We'll be here tracking as needed.